In today's video, we're going to be working on add like fractions. Okay, the right hand side it says to add like fractions, you should have the same denominator. Okay, meaning here, here our denominator is 8. If I have different denominators other than 8 and 6 here, we won't be able until we find the same denominator. Okay, so when you add the, the, not, the fractions, like fractions, your denominator is never going to change. It's still going to stay. Whatever number it is, that's the number it's going to stay. So in this case, it's 8, so we're just going to have 8. And the only thing that changed is your numerator, where you have 1 plus 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5. That's the only thing that changes, the top part, not the bottom. Okay. On the next example we have, we have 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. Okay. Okay. So 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. Again, the denominator doesn't change. We leave it the same. So it's going to be 5. And the only thing that changes is the top, the numerator. So we do 1 plus 1 is 2. So the second one is going to be your answer is 2 fifth. Don't forget, if you haven't, go ahead and like and subscribe. In this example, we have 2 6 plus 1 6. Okay, so we leave the same because the denominator is the same and we never touch the denominator. So the denominator is going to be 6 and then we do 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, that can be your answer 3 over 6. But if your teacher wants you to simplify, which most likely is always going to happen, always just simplify it. Okay, what number goes on both of them? So you're going to simplify 3, 6. And you can simplify it by 3, because 3 goes on both of them. Okay, so you're going to simplify by that. So 3 goes into 3 one time. And 3 goes into 6 two times. So your answer is going to be 1 half. Okay. Another example that we have is 1 tenth plus 1 tenth equals. Okay. We have 10 that does not change, so that becomes still 10. And then we have 1 plus 1, it's going to be 2. So your answer is 2 10. Again, you know they're both even numbers, so you can go ahead and simplify. So we're going to simplify, simplify by what? By 2, because 2 goes to both of these. Okay, so 2 goes into 2 one time, and then 2 goes into 10 five times. So your answer is 1 fifth. This example we have 4 over 6 plus 4 over 6. The denominator doesn't change, it stays the same. So it's 6. And now we have 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So we can go ahead and do it and solve it and try to get a, a mixed number. Okay, so we go ahead and put it as 6 goes into 8 one time. So 6 goes into 8 one time. Then you're going to have 2 left over 6. But as you can see in this fraction here, you can still simplify because they're both even numbers. So you can go ahead and simplify the 2 6 by 2 because 2 goes on both of them. So your answer is going to be 1 which you don't change, you leave it the same, 1, and then 2 goes into 2, one time, and then 2 goes into 6, three times. So your answer could be 1 and 1 third as a mixed number, or it can be as a fraction, 8, 6, okay? Don't forget, if you need help, go back, pause the video, you can go back and review it and see how I got to that point and if you know your friends need help you can go ahead and share the video okay I'm gonna do one more example I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and 
try to solve it pause the video and then come back and see if you got the same answer and if you didn't you can check where did you go wrong in this example you can go ahead and like I said pause the video and try to solve it on your own if not you can just go ahead and continue watching the video okay we have 10 to in the denominator it's not going to change it just stays the same then we're going to add the numerators 8 plus 7 it's going to give us 15 okay we know that 10 is smaller than 15 so we're going to go ahead and write it as a mixed number 10 goes into 15 one time and we're still going to have 5 left over 10. You can still simplify this fraction and we're going to go ahead and simplify it and we can simplify it by 5 because 5 goes on both numbers okay so we don't touch the 1 we leave the 1 as itself by itself and 5 goes into 5 one time and then 5 goes into 10 two times so your answer can be 1 and 1 half or it can be 15 over 10.